Hey everybody, uh, so today I just want to tell you a story I read about an interesting judge and the strange choices he made. So in post-World War II Japan, there were extreme food shortages, like legal rations of food would get you killed, you would die of starvation, and for that reason, uh, people started having to use black markets. Um, these places sold food for way above cost, but, you know, people literally needed to use them to live. The thing is, obviously, it was a black market. It was illegal. And here enters the protagonist of our story, Yamaguchi Yoshitada. So Yamaguchi was a judge. His job was to uphold the law, and in the case of post-World War II Japan, that meant sending people to jail for using the black market, for using the thing they needed to live. Let me quote this book for you. It's called Embracing Defeat by John W. Dower. Yamaguchi's wife, herself the daughter of a judge, later recalled one case her husband told her involving a 72-year-old woman whose son had not returned from the war and whose daughter-in-law had been killed in an air raid. When arrested, she had been attempting to feed her two grandchildren by selling such personal possessions as her kimonos and buying food on the black market. Because she was a repeat offender, the judge had no alternative but to sentence her to jail. Insane. Absolutely fucking insane. The law was literally demanding the mass death, essentially, of everybody in Japan, and he had to carry that law out. <coughs> so what does Yamaguchi do? What does Yamaguchi the judge do? Well, he, he follows the law. He refuses to eat black market food. He allows his wife and children to continue to do so, but he only eats his legal rations. And he fucking dies. He dies from following the law that says that you can't eat enough to live. As he wrote, the food control law is a bad law, but as long as it is the law, people must obey it. There are judges I know who buy on the black market pretending that their hands are clean. When I consider that I am alone in marching on death with a clean slate, I forget all my troubles and sorrows. After he died, he became something of a martyr, like a hero. People were comparing him to Socrates, but according to this book, other people were pretty critical of this. For example, I'm quoting here, one citizen said, Would it not have been wiser, he asked, to die fighting for good laws instead of insisting on observing lethal ones? I don't know what to do with this story. I don't know how to feel about it. I guess all I can ask is, what exactly is the value of this guy, Yamaguchi's integrity? What does it matter that he wasn't a hypocrite, that he died for what he believed in, when what he believed in was a bullheaded adherence to the law that resulted in him sending random old ladies to death for feeding their grandchildren. Is it better that he died for that? Is that a good thing to die for? Does that count as a protest? It is interesting that he was compared to Socrates at the time, right? Because Socrates died disobeying an unjust law, not, not just obeying it not just obeying the law. At the same time, I can't deny that there's something I find a bit heroic about it. His refusal to live where other people were sentenced to death, his embrace of the kind of absurdity of the government at the time. I find the story absolutely mesmerizing, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.